If you want your website to be found by more people in your area, you need to know exactly what they are searching for on Google. So in today's video, we will teach you how to do keyword research for local businesses so you can get more traffic to your website and serve more customers. So let's get started. Okay, so you are a local business owner, a small business owner, and you're trying to figure out what words people are typing into Google to find the services that they need. So you need to do keyword research. So you need a tool like Keywords Everywhere, right? So uh, install the Keywords Everywhere extension, uh, turn it on, and make sure you have credits okay so with credits keywords everywhere will display keyword level data such as a monthly search volume which you need to know to determine what keywords are the most important uh, for your website so i always like to start with uh, two parts of, of a keyword okay so whatever business you have so if you are a plumber a dentist a jewelry store owner a pet store owner and add the location that you serve or wherever your office or store is located. So in this case, I added Los Angeles. So you are a plumber in Los Angeles, okay? Always start at a very high level type of keyword, very broad keyword, and then we'll go uh, more narrow, we'll go down from there, okay? so. When I search this on Google, you can see the search volume is a little over uh, 2,000 per month, okay? And the, comp the uh, average cost per click is a little over $22. So clearly, uh, a lot of plumbers out there, uh, small business owners, are spending quite a bit to uh, show ads within Google. But organically, let's see what other keywords people are typing in. So when I scroll down, you can see these very helpful widgets right here. Okay, um, I want to focus on these widgets with the keywords in them because these are the types of keywords people are typing in that's related to Plumber in Los Angeles. Okay, so looking at this related keywords widget here, you can see these eight related keywords with their respective search volume, average cost per click, competition score, and the trend over the past uh, 12 months. So looking at this, you can get an, a sense of what additional keywords you can possibly be uh, targeting on your website, right? So a few points to mention here. Uh, you, you see here Plumber Santa Monica. So one thing to note is that a lot of people are searching for plumbers within a specific area of a city. It could be a nearby city like Santa Monica, or it could be a neighborhood, a town. So with local businesses, you wanna make sure you are targeting as specific as possible, okay? Yes, target your entire city, but if you can, what you can do is make sure you are adding the neighborhood that you primarily are serving on your website. Okay, so you can not only rank for the broader city, but also for a much uh, localized neighborhood. Okay, and then you can see people are also typing in 24 hour plumber, right? So if you have specific services like 24 hour turnaround, you can um, create a page that talks about how you offer 24 hour uh, plumber services. Okay, and then Another keyword here that stands out is Plumber West Los Angeles. So a neighborhood within your city, uh, make sure you have specific neighborhoods that you want to target on your website as well, okay? And then we can scroll down. You can see very similar terms in terms of people also search for a widget here. Uh, gas plumber, right, that has a search volume of 10. So if you offer specific services within the plumber uh, niche, uh, as you should, uh, you can see a lot of people are searching for gas plumbers. So that's a good, important insight, letting you know that, hey, you should be creating a page targeting gas plumber Los Angeles. And long tail keywords are also a really great uh, piece of information to look for keywords that are a little bit longer, you know, two or three, more than two or three words in the search term, and keywords that maybe have a little bit less competition. You can look at these long tail keywords to find those less competitive terms and also maybe find 
uh, blog topics that you can potentially uh, write about as well, right? To educate your potential uh, customers. If you go through here, I see a lot of 24 hour keywords here, emergency plumber, uh, commercial plumber is a good one if you offer commercial services, right? And gas plumber, I see it again. Same day plumber, very similar to 24 hour plumber. So really good insights here. Now, if you wanna go even deeper and see what additional keywords people are typing in, click on this button right here, find long tail keywords, and keywords everywhere will show you all of the long tail keywords associated with the term that you originally searched for on Google, right? So there's 78 keywords. So this is another gold mine of keywords that people are typing into Google, okay? And you can see the respective search volume here, average cost per click, and competition data, right? So really look at the search volume. Uh, see what keywords have the highest search volume, okay? So if you wanna look for that main keyword that you wanna target on your homepage, you know, search volume, looking at this particular keyword, plumber in Los Angeles, that has a search volume of 2,400, right? Let's go back to Google. Plumber Los Angeles, 2400, right? So this keyword is your number one keyword because it has the most search volume. So you wanna rank for keywords that have the most search volume, okay? Uh, you can see here, 24 hours, emergency plumber, 24 hours, these three keywords have 260 search volume each. So if you offer these emergency services, then this, these three keywords are great uh, to target on a new page um, on your website, okay? Maybe if you offer low-cost plumbing, you can target this specific keyword and go through this list, see what ideas you can pull, right? You see Union Los Angeles, West Los Angeles. So again, people are looking for more localized, uh, closer plumbers to wherever they live, okay? Let's see, how long does it take to become a plumber. Maybe this might not be a good one if you don't maybe offer that type of service. Uh, let's see, gas plumber, best plumbers, West Los Angeles. So with the best related keywords, I like to uh, create a page and if you have really great Yelp reviews, Google reviews, Facebook reviews, you can create a page targeting the keyword best and maybe add testimonials on there, screenshots of your reviews. If you want re rewards in whatever industry you are in, this is a really great uh, page to add any rewards you have and then target the term best on that page, okay? And great, great list of, of additional keywords you can potentially target for your small business. Now, another way you could find additional keywords, if you wanna go a little bit more broad, is to look at your competitors, okay? So go back to Google and see what are your main competitors here, right? Like this one right here is ranking pretty nicely. Uh, open up your competitor pages, and with keywords everywhere, you can see the exact keywords your competitors are ranking for. So if you click on the extension, click on organic ranking keywords, this report will show up showing you all the keywords that your competitor is ranking for, how much traffic they're getting, what's the search volume of those keywords, and where they are ranking for those keywords. And then you can see the competition data, cost per click data as well. So this is another gold mine. This is an, another great report to see what additional keywords you should be targeting for your own website, okay? So you could go through here and see if there are any ones that stand out to you, okay? This one kind of stands out to me, uh, plumbing companies, right? We didn't see that in, I don't think we saw that on these, this list right here. Okay, yeah, plumbing companies in Los Angeles, 260 search volume, right? Plumbing companies in Los Angeles, right? So you can definitely try to target this specific keyword with, keyword with the term companies in them. LA plumber, right? If your neighborhood, town, city has a shortened uh, name, you can target that as well, right? Now you got this insight because you looked at this report to see what additional keywords your competitors are ranking for. So yes, definitely try to target LA Plumber on there, right? Los Angeles, California, right? So your city with the state, 
right? So target those keywords as well because your competitors are ranking for them. Okay, and another way to go even broader is to, aside from just this one page, what other pages are driving the most traffic to your competitors, right? So to find that, click on the extension and click on Get Top Ranking Pages. So this will give you more pages that you can potentially create for your own website to better compete with other local businesses around your area. So if you click on Get Top Ranking Pages, this report will show up and it'll show you all the URLs that get the most traffic, right? You can see the traffic numbers here and the total keywords that that these URLs uh, rank for. Now, when you look at this report, you could see there is a lot of blogs that are ranking. So what does this tell you? This tells you that they have a very good blog content strategy. They clearly write a lot of blogs, right? They clearly write a lot of blogs and they're getting a lot of traffic. So what does that mean? That means you should write blogs as well to drive that traffic and get more people to visit your site and turn them into leads and ultimately customers. Okay, so you could see here all these different blogs, even non-blog pages get traffic as well. So cast iron pipe descale, ejector pumps. So if you offer these services, right, cast iron pipe descale services, hey, you should create a page focusing on this term as well. And if you click on the URLs, you can go deeper and see the specific keywords that these URLs rank for. All right, so the report will look uh, basically the same as you know the top keywords report. You could go through that, follow that same process, and see what specific keywords uh, these URLs are, are ranking for, and create a page and target all of those keywords. Okay, so this is a very, very easy, simple way to do keyword research for small businesses, local businesses, to really dominate and drive more traffic to your websites to grow your business, right? Get more leads, get more customers. So hopefully you thought this was helpful and we will see you in the next video. All right, please hit that like button if you thought this video was helpful and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you wanna learn more about Keywords Everywhere, feel free to click any of the videos on the screen. Thank you and we will see you in the next one.